Yo, 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 what's up, what's up, what's up, ladies and gentlemen, I'm back again with another video for you guys, <laughs> y'all know I'm good for it, man, y'all know I'm good for it, alright guys, this time it's on a Monte Code, designer and pastels version of Monte Code, comes in this cool looking box right here, and it says, if you like a Monte Code by Giorgio Armani, you'll love our impression. This is designer and pastor's impression of Armani Code. Alright. Starting off, guys, this stuff smells kind of kind of distant, smoky. Um it's just an amazing uh smell with this one. Well, I'm 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 just impressed by it. I had this before back in the day. And uh boy, this this stuff really smells really, really good. Really good. Projection is beast. It starts off beast projection. I've had tons of compliments, even with this one. Um, it's just amazing cologne. You guys will be surprised how many compliments you'll get off this one. Mm. It smells really good. The projection is be kind of like a smoky, sweet, a little bit. That's what I get from it. And it's just all around a real good, good, good copy of Monte Code. I'm telling you. Designer and pastors really do their thing, even with the body sprays. They come out with the colognes. Also has this in Aqua Du Jour, which I'm going to review for you guys. And I got others that I'm going to do for you guys as well. Alright, now the, the original Monte Code, y'all know, comes in a black bottle. A Monte Code by Giorgio Armani. It's an oriental spicy fragrance for men. A Monte Code was created by Antonio Lai. Somebody like that. Top notes are bergamot and lemon. The middle notes are star anise, olive, olive blossom, and garret wood. The base notes are leather, tobacco, and tonka bean. Alright, and this cologne was released way back then. I had a bottle way back like 2008. It was released in 2004. So it's been out that while. It's been out about 15 years now. So yeah, it's, it's, it's done its, uh, had its share out. <laughs> so it had a fair share of whatever, whatever, you know. It's been out there for a hot minute now. Um, we'll let you guys um, check out the spray on this one here. Pretty decent spray. Sprays a lot, and they make their impressions on a pretty cool ball. I like the ball and everything, the ball design that it uh, comes in. And it's just, it's just amazing. I mean, it's really amazing how they copy colognes and they copy them, and they really do a good job with them. You know. Uh, this one here like 98% spot on, uh, smoky, sweet, that's what I get with this one, uh, it's, it's just, it's, it's amazing, man, it's just amazing what they do with these colognes, and, um, they cop them out, and I, you know, if you really didn't want to spend a whole lot of money in colognes, you know, you can get these for like, what, nine, ten bucks, got original product cost you 25 or 30 at least. So you say you sell 20 bucks, you know, just by getting the impression of it still, either way you look at it. So, um, yeah, it's still a good deal. Now, in the original cologne, I said the main accords off the top is citrus, leather, aromatic, floral, and soft spicy. Okay, launched in 2004, and I read you guys the notes already. Okay, it won an award in 2006, and I read you all the notes in the cologne already, so uh, I see what some people are saying. It smells similar to, I don't really know, nothing too much that smells like it. Now, Buy Man Black is a um, close copy of it as well. It smells really good, does a really good job with impressions, but Buy Man, you know, the Buy Man be doing it up too, so. You're on a budget out here. You can get all a lot of replica colognes out here that save you some money, and you smell this as good as the next man. You know that's just my take on that. 
And I'm just keeping it 100% real with you. <laughs> 100% real with you. Okay. All right. That's saying it smells like some stuff. I ain't really seeing it. I ain't pulling it up or whatever. Whatever the case might be. But, um, yep. Yeah. Smells good. Uh, kind of powdery a little bit. Smells good to me, huh? Um, I guarantee you that you probably will get tons of compliments with this one. Definitely that. You'll get some compliments now. Yeah. Some compliments. That you will. For sure. <laughs> yeah, you'll get some compliments. <laughs> this one smells really good. It's going to be a cheap cologne. The spray is really good on it. Uh, that's a longevity. You'll get anywhere from six hours plus. Uh, projection is really good. First hour or two. Sillage is good. Because this is more of a, I would say this is more of a fall winter scent. You know, it's kind of thick. It's like a thick scent. So really, and the honest truth, you, this ain't nothing you probably going to want to wear when it's very hot or, you know, spring or summer. Uh, I would, though. I would wear it, you know. But some people probably might say, well, you know, hmm. This might get a little clung, you know, to me, you know, coming back. Because it is kind of smoky. It smells it's like a smoky vibe, you know, woody vibe a little bit or something, you know, you can say like that. So, those real hot months, it may come back on you a little bit. So, you have to be careful. Um... Good spray, cheapy. Can't beat them. I mean, like I tell you guys, man, there's a lot of impression colognes out here that really puts quality into them, and they be just as good as the originals for a fraction of the price, you know, especially these. These designer and pastors done it big, man, when they made these. And like I said, I have Aqua Di Jo that's 98% spot on to like this. So, as you can see, this is Imani Code. And they also have Aqua Di Jo. I have that as well. And they got other ones, which I don't have. But I do have these two. So, yeah, man. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a king of replicas. I buy original and I buy replicas. So, you know. Sometimes I buy replicas just to see how close they is to the original. Like, the curve. I got the original curve as well. So I just buy replicas. Just sometimes I just wear them just to see how spot on they are to the original cologne. Just for fun. Just for fun. Just dabbling around in a little in the cologne world a little bit. Just dabbling here and there. That's all. Just seeing so. But anyway, I don't hold you guys too long. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Share my videos with your family and friends. And uh, till next time, man, y'all know I'll be back. I'm out of here. Peace.